playing the dynamo strings is kind of like eating at a Michelin star restaurant. You get the best ingredients, you have you know, a full course meal, you have all the different flavors, different colors, like it's a work of art on the plate. I don't know if you're into fine dining, but that's how I feel about the dynamo strings. The dynamo strings are kind of like a Michelin star restaurant that costs a lot of money because you have the finest ingredients to eat and you are given this wonderful presentation, this artistic presentation of the food in front of you. And Dynamo tends to be in that category, but they're expensive and they don't last as long as you think. So the Dynamo strings, excellent strings. I love these strings. They are to me like a fine dining Michelin star restaurant. You get all the colors that you want. The playability is just remarkable. The different types of colors that you can get out of your instrument has really pushed my instrument's boundaries and I can do so much more with just a set of strings. To be honest with you, for a period of time, I was thinking about actually buying a new instrument because I felt like I needed more out of my instrument, but I don't wanna have to spend another $20,000 on a new instrument by a luthier or maybe a fine Italian instrument. So I was thinking, okay, let me give these dynamos a go. The people at Tomasic Infeld were generous enough for me to try an entire set of strings. Now it's my time to review them. I've been playing these strings for about two months now, and I can honestly say I've tried them in different settings, and I've been playing on approximately four hours a day. This does not include any potential gigs that I had, so I'm a full-time violin teacher as well, so I've been playing on my instrument, and I've been performing in various settings like musicals and in orchestral settings. I actually had a chance to perform with Simone Porter on stage. I was in the section violin, but that story is for an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna go into the specs of the strings because that's something that I've already talked about in one of my other Dynamo strings videos, so take a look at that when you get a chance. In my opinion, the Dynamos are not for the beginner violinist. They're definitely not for the intermediate violinist. They're more so for the advanced to professional violinist who is looking more out of your instrument. Someone who is consciously aware of the different colors and how to use different technique to get those colors out of an instrument. That is what these strings are designed to do. And if you don't know how to do that, then these strings are not for you. But you know, these strings, the way they last, they're, they have a good lifespan for a professional string in this category. In my experience with other violin strings, in this price category, they last about a month and a half to two months. Now, if you are a soloist, you might be really encouraged to hear that because you might be changing strings once a month, maybe once every two weeks. So if I were you, I would buy maybe 10 to 20 sets for the entire season and then see how they last with all the performances and all the practice. So that way you have a fresh set of strings every time you play. But I find that the sweet spot for these dynamo strings happen around the fifth day, like between day five and day 14 out of these strings because you can get a good idea of the tuning stability maybe 24 hours after the string is settled onto your instrument. And then pretty quickly these strings settle in, but then like the sweet spot for you to really understand the potential of the strings and depending on your community, depending on your instrument, I found that between day five and day 14, that's when the strings have really, really come to its own. There's very little to be disappointed about these strings. I have found them to be reliable. I found them to be uh, the colors that I want out of my instrument. As I said before, in my violin community, this is definitely my new string set, like for performances and quartets and other performance engagements. I'm kind of doing a little bit of everything to diversify. When I was playing in a pit in a very dry space, I was able to project, I was able to blend with other instruments that have a very similar uh, unison part. So all of that was great, but I'm also impressed that I'm able to project as a solo and the violin can be heard really easily. In the orchestral setting, I would say these wouldn't be my first choice for orchestral setting because these strings can be very loud. It's very difficult to play soft dynamics with a good chord. So if you're trying to play uh, like a piano over the fingerboard, 
like a sur la touche, that might be really ideal. My two cents is when I was playing in the section violin with a stand partner, very easy to blend in mezzo forte and above. But once I started getting mezzo piano and below, I found myself to really try extra hard to play softly. So a, again, it could be the space. I was playing in a very dry space. Having said that though, these strings can be flexible. So if you are playing on an instrument that is specifically built as an orchestral instrument, then yes, the dynamo strings are for you because they're going to be adjusted in an orchestral setting. However, if you're trying to play on an instrument that is built for solo or chamber music playing, and you put the dynamo strings on, they could be a little bit louder than what you might want. So I just wanna kind of put that disclaimer there. If you are playing on a solo instrument that is built for solo, and you play in an orchestral setting with these dynamo strings, these may not be for you. But playing on a violin that's specifically designed to play in orchestras and you put the dynamos in the mix, then these are fabulous strings. So it all depends on what kind of equipment you are playing on. Of course, I can talk about the bow, I can talk about the bow hair, I can talk about the rosin. And when it comes to rosin, you know, it really doesn't matter. It's all about your personal preference because if you are used to playing on a dark rosin, and you are playing and practicing with your technique with their dark rosin, then you really have no reason to change anything. Um, I would say that I've been playing on a little bit lighter rosin and I was able to get a really good grip of the string. Maybe some music where I'm trying to play closer to the bridge, I was able to project, no problem at all. So these are some of the things that I like about the Dynamo strings. Some of the downsides, I wished it would have lasted a little bit longer. I mean, I know that I was playing a lot but I would like to challenge all the string companies out there to try to make a string that is in this price category, but last and make the sound as fresh as they are when, when you open the box. Because the thing about the Dynamos two months later, they, the tuning stability is still the same, but something about the G string just happened. Maybe it's on my violin, but something about the G string just started, started sounding funny and uh, it just kind of told me that, okay, I think these strings are about to expire. I mean, again, I've been playing four hours a day, teaching, you know, playing different gigs, different orchestras, musical pits, whatever the case may be. But these are my thoughts about the Dynamo strings. And if you haven't tried the Dynamo strings, let me know um, in the comment section below. And if you're not a part of this community, uh, would love to start this conversation about the Dynamos. So leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate your input on your experience on the Dynamo strings. And if we haven't met, my name is Eric and I'm a violinist. I do a lot of product reviews just like this one. And if you're new to the community, I would appreciate if you subscribed and leave a comment down below. Thanks so much and see you in the next video.